Welcome, welcome, and happy new year to each and every one of you. I hope the year has started out great, and I hope it only gets better from here. Today, we are going to be watching Memphis Bell. This one was suggested quite a while ago by longtime viewer of the channel, LW3918. I promised I would get to it, and I finally am. I'm very eager to check it out because I have no clue what it is. I've never heard of it. I got nothing, which means I got nothing to say. So make sure you click the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, and let's uh, check out Memphis Bell. Summer of 1943, a fierce battle raged in the skies over Europe. I've heard of that one, yes. Fewer and fewer were coming back. Wonderful. So, we got a World War II movie. Okay, let's see who we got here. Verge Hugesteger, nicknamed The Virgin. That's unfortunate. Eugene McVeigh, 19, high strung, always coming down with something. He looks very familiar. Richard Rascal Moore, 18, 5 foot 4, 120 pounds, has a real reputation as a ladies' man. At least that's what he says. You say so, Sam. Valedictorian, he volunteered the day after he graduated from college. Atta boy. It's not bad. And I think we got something to work with here. Who is talking? He sounds familiar, but I can't place him. I like this whole introduce them all right now. Don't waste time later. How can I promise you 24 planes tomorrow? I don't even know if they'll all make it back. I know that guy. I know we have to keep the pressure on, but I lost almost a quarter of my squadron, sir. Quarter? Things are going very bad. I was hoping to give the boys a little break. We're having a dance tonight in honor of the group's first dance. He does not care. Yes, sir. Tell them before. Yes, I will give you an update when I know more. It's a very tough line to, to toe with, between getting what you need out of your soldiers, but also letting them be human beings for a little while, too. <laughs> so that's the crew of the Memphis Bell, huh? That's who I heard, Jesus Christ. They must be the 10 luckiest sons of bitches in the world. They're just ordinary men, Colonel. 24 missions without a scratch. That doesn't sound very ordinary to me. I was gonna ask what makes them lucky. I'd say that's pretty damn lucky. You know, people back home are getting pretty discouraged by our losses. The nation is going to fall in love with those boys. First crew in the 8th Air Force to complete their tour of duty. Okay, I think I kind of have got it. This particular group they have, he wants to use them as a, as a PR thing because they're doing well. Uh-oh. Not unscathed, that one. I made it all the way back right in front of all the rest of them that's terrible and you gotta just get back to it what can you do you named the plane after your girl back home <laughs> it's a great angle lifeguard well wow, it's rough basking in the sun all day having girls swarm all over you know him but don't know from where now you're the bombardier four years of medical school under your belt i know him too would you look at the camera phil <sighs> smile what is there to smile about, sir? You guys have finished 24 missions. One more and you get to go home. That sure make me smile. Wait, you're not me. Fly all over the U.S., making speeches, getting people to buy more war bonds, work longer hours, put out more planes. I don't want the other men finding out about this yet. The pictures in life, wine, women, and song, you gotta tell them, they'll go nuts. Hercules? I want them thinking about their jobs and that's all. We could do our jobs in our sleep. I am listening to the story, I promise. It's just, there's a lot of cast that's jumping out at me. I'm gonna plan to open a whole bunch of restaurants exactly like the first one. You could go to Detroit, say, and get the exact same hamburger you got in Baltimore. Or nobody's gonna wanna get the same old food everywhere they go. <laughs> it's comforting. A man of vision. Sergeant will just send it all back to Becker's widow. We don't want her getting anything embarrassing. That's nice of them, though. <laughs> Dirty book. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Becker forgot his good luck charm. Poor slob. Should have worn it around his neck. Say, what do you guys know about Germany? A little bird tells me that's where they're sending us tomorrow. Uh, we ain't going to Crowdville. Our plane's broke. No, it's fixed. <clears throat> Christ, let's go break it. <laughs> they wouldn't send us to Germany our last well, time. They're going a milk run to France. I hope so. Now, I saw Eric Stoltz. He was the one redhead. The other redhead, I'm still working on. The blacksmith shouted. Why don't we dance where guys pick girls up anymore? Not that a whole lot of guys could lift me, but you know, if you can, 
I mean, that's a big plus in your favor. Maybe going to Germany tomorrow. My short, young life could be snuffed out in an instant. No, she ain't buying it. Oh, Faith. When I think I might never see the stars again. You're laying it on too thick. She's crazy about me. She's going to jump on me any second. You've never had a hamburger? That's been so long since I had any meat. So you work the meat very slowly, you know, very, very tenderly. That's the secret. She thinks you're flirty, and he's literally talking about food. Gently, so I don't bruise the meat. Why are you making me so hungry? Or horny. <laughs> Sorry, shorty. Well, you've got nine men who are totally depending on you. That's Joker. That's Joker, is it, from Full Metal Jacket? So this being their last mission, I'm guessing it's just going to go just terribly wrong. You know how to take care of your man, and it's about the best thing a fella can say about any gal, I guess. <laughs> Can't imagine going home. Yeah, you might not get to. It won't be the same, will it? I don't know if this is a true story or if this is made up, but it's like, if it's a true story, there is no predicting anything that's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh. Captain would do if he caught us in here, he'd murder me. This is oh jeez, put that <laughs> someone stole it. I got kind of worried. Forget the bloody wrench. <laughs> Not on her foot, forget it. You've never done this before, have you? Why? A am I doing something wrong? Just very, very nervous. Is that your brand new plane out there? Well, well we had our first practice today. How'd it go? Yeah. If you guys have any advice, shoot yourself in the foot. Go home. <laughs> Are those size eights? How about leaving a little will saying when you get your ass shot off on your first mission that those nice shiny new pumps come to me, huh? Camaraderie! I guess it would make sense that, like, squads would compete with each other and mess with each other. Get back home. I don't know when we're all gonna get together again. I guess that's why I keep taking their pictures. Aww. You'll be like that with your crew. Close your eyes. Go on. Not something you want to hear in a men's room. It's good luck. Either you're gonna really wish you kept that, or that guy's gonna die instantly. No, I'm not gonna get up in front of all these folks. Come on, you're a great oh, no, singer. I ah, I know his name too, damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, Harry Connick Jr. The first crew to fly their 25th and final mission. This guy is just not happy. Hey, babe. It's bad luck. Hey, babe. <laughs> Put your foot in it there, didn't you, PR guy? Yeah, never celebrate before the last one. Like, that just seems like like you're asking for trouble. From Glen to Glen and down. Isn't this like a funeral thing or a, a sad death thing? I don't know. Hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be. <laughs> oh, Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. I bet this guy has some good Christmas song covers. Yeah, this is the guy who's very downer about everything. I don't want to die. Why? I, okay, I I feel insensitive now. I don't want to die! It must be very hard being the only one obviously thinking about it. Now, where's Phil? He's in the can. He, got, he couldn't sleep, the guy. That's, that's the screaming guy, the scared one, right? He doesn't know where he actually is, does he? I can see it. I get back home, I'm doing it to the wife, the door breaks open, and there's Danny taking a picture. <laughs> Isn't he the patron saint of missing things? Yeah, I can't find him. Who is that guy? It's bugging me so bad. <laughs> Morning, Lieutenant. Oh, he's wasted. You gotta get a hold of yourself, Junior. I don't want your watch. Everybody's counting on you. You can't count on him right now, he's ripped. Stick your finger down your throat, or I'm gonna do it for you. <laughs> No need. I feel better. I bet you do. You're not thinking you're sneaking this on the plane, are you, Danny? I am shocked at your behavior. Don't drop it. It's gonna be a milk run today. I can feel it in my body. Yeah, That's so. what you said last time. What's a milk run? 360 planes are bombing on your command. So let's be accurate. As this guy's lolling around in his chair. Bremen. Oh, we're dead men. We're dead. Shut up, rascal. Clay. What are the odds today? Figure they're gonna overload us with bombs, so it's gonna be about 30 to 1 we'll crash and blow up on takeoff. Then they're gonna probably throw every fighter they got at yeah. us. Basically, we're finished. Never tell me the odds. 
Whoa, is that lady fully naked? I don't know what year this is, otherwise I'd be a little more confident. I feel like the other redhead is the kid from Pet... Not Pet Summer, Children of the Corn. Outlander! That one. It's interesting coming in at this point where they're established they've got they they're about they work as well together as anybody could it's got the end of their of their time Thermometer checking in. navigator checking in up turret checking in radio operator checking in Walter checking in right waist gunner checking in left waist gunner checking in tail gunner checking in imagine being the guy facing the back you can see everything coming right up behind you cloud cover over the target stand by your plane till further notice well, how long till further notice the target's clouded over we're delayed they're all geared up and ready, and now we just get to sit and wait. Okay, Luke, let's take this extra time to double-double check everything. We're not going anywhere. What are you gonna do? Sit there with your thumb up your ass? Might as well do something. Set. They were set before, and they're still set. Don't be a dick. I checked it out top to bottom. It's okay. Take it easy, Rascal. Gee, thanks, Virgin. Not no more. You know, Rascal, I could tell you something. Hey, what could you tell me, Virgin? Probably tell you a lot of things by now. <laughs> he don't have to because he knows it's true. Just once. I mean, how many girls back home if I haven't killed a single Nazi? You lie. Like everybody. Shut up, Virgin. You ask me shoot you. Shut up. Say it, don't spray it. Relax. Try to be a little bit more like Phil. <laughs> Half dead? Somewhere among the clouds above. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Those that I fight, I do not hate. Those that I guard, I do not love. More cheering crowds. A lonely impulse of delight drove to this tumult in the clouds. Laughter died pretty quick, didn't it? You're going up! Start engines in five minutes! I don't know anything really about poetry, but I mean, he sold it. Ooh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> I love the pictures on their planes. That one got our whole ass hanging out. You still look like shit. I really hope you're up for this. Is whittling really a good activity on a shaky airplane? I feel like you might lose a finger. <sighs> you know, you have to be confident and treat it like any other day, because it is. But on the other hand, it could be completely not an ordinary day. I can see why they didn't want to tell the rest of the men that there's like a big publicity tour and whatnot waiting for them after this because they do have to stay in the moment. They do have to treat this like a regular day. And you also don't want that getting in their heads and making them, you know, think that it's bad luck that's going to jinx them. It probably means a whole lot to these guys, too. They want to see them finish this mission safely and then get to go home. Because it means, theoretically, they all could. You know what I got my two Nazi fighters on? Hey, shut up! I mean, obviously that's going to become a competition. Watch the cow flaps. I know. Why are you such a whiny bitch? Oof. So who's, uh, whose fault was that? Take this. You're not gonna die. Just do your job and shut up. Watch him be the only survivor. I gotta say, a Clark Gable mustache really works on Billy Zane. That's kind of crazy. Okay? Yes, thank you. Oh, I wouldn't like that either. Oh, no. I Yeah, that would make me very, very nervous. This is very, very cool looking. Keep the intercom free. Call out those fighters and don't shout. Quit worrying about your shit, man, and worry about your job. That's why you're gonna die. Keep your minds on your job. Work together and stay alert. As he goes to sleep. Jesus H. And you smile at me. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Come to my bunk. I'll give you heaven, honey. You've never fucked anything. Three o'clock high. 
I'm guessing the interior shots are, you know, on, on a set. I mean, this looks like it's actual, you know, footage. Looks good to me. Why can't I have the baseball card? And for him. Here you go, Jack. I'm more of a football fan myself. There. Happy? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, uh -huh. Jack. I don't know what I'm going to do after the war, except not work. Yeah, Luke, why go back to the daily grind to being a lifeguard? Take it easy. <laughs> hey, what kind of doctor you going to be, Val? Rich. Well, that narrows it down. Furniture business. You can all come to work for me. The silence is deafening. Just what we need. You ordering us around for the rest of our lives. Well, them fighters. <laughs> Check your mask. Let's make this our best <laughs> one yet. Oh. I'm not that bad. It was a kind offer. And he's just doing his job. Daddy, see ya? Two more. 12 o'clock hot. Coming fast. Any one on Imagine having to hit something moving that fast and in any direction. Come on. I'm not stop by you, son of a <gasps> Damn it! Hey, wait a minute! He's coming around again. Jack, get the oh. ready, bastard. I thought that was going to be bad, bad. It's just... <laughs> oh, no. Check in. Navigator. Phil. Dude. Check in. That means right away. God, somebody's guts are all over the nose. Oh, of course. That's all he needs. Any shoots from Windy City? Just like that. Ten guys gone. Tall guy? You wasn't so tall. Uh, everybody's taller than me. <laughs> I can see that guy's face. Yeah, me too. You start off trying to not talk about it, but now you're right back to it. Thanks, buddy. Here! No! No, we're even! Right uh, Jack threw my metal out the window. <laughs> I mean, that kind of- that can mess with somebody really bad. I get he was pissed at him, but that- that was- that was taking it too far. What's the Harmon little party in honor of these guys? They're special. I have 24 crews up there. They are all special to me. All you care about is getting planes in the air. Which... Come with me. Oh, you have to show you something. This one's from a father whose son had his head blown off over Lorient. Start with that. I want to thank you for your letter about my son, Tom. He must have made a big impression because you described him right down to his boots. He writes the letters himself. Your letter of December 10th. Who appreciated your letter to them. Excited to be doing something important. Yeah, I bet you feel real bad now, John Lithgow. My prayers are for my husband's comrades. This guy clearly keeps every one of these pilots in his soul. That guy had blue eyes. That's how close you were. Shit. Oh no. Everybody make sure you've got your chutes. Oh. Put your safety strap on. Oh, it hurts. Do it! Do you want to die? I just heard from C Cup. They're dropping out of formation. We're in the lead now. Just where everybody wants to be. Three minutes, 30 seconds from the bomb run. This is very interesting to me because I realize I haven't seen a lot of uh, war movies in the air. It's a whole different thing, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh. And your mother, too! <laughs> he was worried about that happening, too. That's creepy. Favorite harmonica. Oh, you run, son of a bitch! Oh, you're gonna get it now, Adolf. Scared the shit out of me. He was probably scared too. Ah, he never threw it. How'd you do that? Magic. Magic. <laughs> what are the odds of us getting out of here alive? I uh, just figuring that out. Why? You gotta fly straight through it, or we'll be off target. Just four minutes. That's it. What did I say? That didn't sound good. Turning on the autopilot. You're flying the plane from here to target. I would think they would have other smaller planes around to kind of uh, clear the way for them and, and, and keep these guys off them. They did before, didn't they? Ah! 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 Luke's head! Luke's head! No! Definitely not me! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like these fake outs. I don't like them. There's a hole as big as my dick in the left wing. That small? Zombie door is open. 
Oh my god, no thank you. How does that target look? Target totally obscured. Fuck. How are you gonna drop a bomb when you can't see? Oh my god. Ah. Came here to bomb a factory. We're gonna bomb a factory even if it means going around again. You're going around on a bomb run a suicide! Hampton, what do you want me to do? I know you gotta trust your commander, but... Jeez. We're going around again. <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> Just drop a bow. Shut up! And when you don't hit the target and you fail your mission and have to do it again, how will that be? It'll take us five minutes to get back to the start of the bomb run. Oh my Navigator, god. Give the, me a the last five minutes were unbearable. There's a school right next door, and if we don't drop these bombs right in the pickle barrel, there's gonna be a lot of innocent people killed. What's the difference? They're all Nazis. Look, shut up. But they're not, though. You can't do that. Othering people is kind of how this whole thing started. If we do this thing right, something we can be proud of our whole lives. That's right. Get rid of the odds, man. Don't even look at it. Doing fine right now. Oh, Lieutenant, um, actually, I do need some help. <laughs> Tail gunner, what's wrong? Well, I'm running out of ammo, Cap. I'll take care of it. He's gonna let him fire the gun. Is that what we're doing? Hey. Watch it, watch it. Great. Oh, dear Lord. I got him. I got him! Run! 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 And how did that work for you? He got the rookies. If it's build a mother and country, come in! Now, I don't know that you can predict something like that if it would have happened to anybody else either, but you really wanted to shoot a plane down. And how did that work out for you? Whatever you say, Dennis, you know what you're doing. Get your head back in it, man. Can't think about it now. How does that target look? Like shit. Is it going to be any better? You go back around? I swear to God. I swear to God, guy. Yeah, you watch him. You do your job and you let them do theirs. Target's still covered, Captain. What do you want me to do? Captain, do you read me? What a choice to have to make. That's it. Bombs away. Oh. We've done our job for Uncle Sam. Now we're flying for ourselves. Get the hell out! I'm jammed! I'm stuck again! Oh shit, I'm stuck again! Oh, the little Star Wars bucket really makes me nervous. Let's go! Oh my god! I got your ass, I got to grab hold of me! Come on! Aren't you glad you wore that thing now? Camera? Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of Danny! Oh, this is a mess. I'll cover your gun, just go! Maybe somebody in the back of the plane can take care of Hey, 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 hey! You're hey, the, the doctor. doctor! Phil, I lied! I only had two weeks of medical school before I enlisted. I don't know anything. Uh, just do it! That's what lies get you. You're gonna lie to sound smarter. Lies say, say you're a lawyer or something. Why say you're a doctor, something that could be useful in a war, you ding-dong? Oh, damn it. Well, at least you know that much. I just shot a big chunk out of the tail. Oh, goody! We're gonna have to dive to put out this fire. Wingman, you're lead plane now. Uh, to keep your head in that situation, I don't even understand how you do it. I mean, you have to, I guess. I would be pissing myself the whole time. Oh. Val, help him! What do you want from me? This man needs a hospital. All I got is a stupid first aid kit. Here you go, Danny. Oh. Okay, there's one more thing we can do. We can put a parachute on him, we can push him out. Jesus Christ, Val! It's crawling with Germans down there. They'll pick him up, and they'll take him to a hospital. Yeah, they don't kill him for fun first. Rascal, it's his only chance. I don't think that's a good idea. Watch his back! Oh my god. Val, I'll go along with anything you say. You're the doctor. Bullshit. You're his only chance, but you're too goddamn chicken to help him. If he stays on board, he'll die. He probably will die out there. Okay. Did they do it? I need to know! 
Oh, the nerves when they see people coming back. The way your stomach must drop when they don't all show up. Never did get that fighter, did we? Ah, shit on us. I love these guys. Oh, Emma, you can have my bullets too. Oh, I know, but it seems like such a waste. Ain't that a pretty sight? Land ho. Oh, thank God they didn't throw him out. Oh, and he's still alive. Balance with this life. I didn't read that. It's WB8. <laughs> Everyone's full of shit. Oh no, don't die. Damn it. I don't want to laugh at your last words. You try it again and I'll kill you. Oh. Learning a lot today, aren't we, John Lithgow? Landing gear. Do we still have it? I only see one. Something's wrong. Of course there is. Crank that bitch. And it is not going. And we're losing another engine. How long can we fly in one engine? I don't know. We're about we'll to find, find out. Why. Oh, that is slow as hell. There's a doggy see him. Go oh! hell! Things just falling apart. Come on, come on! Faster, faster! I swear it was already there. Oh. We're not gonna die! We're not gonna die! You have a chance to do something about it now. Crank for your life! Your heart must be in your stomach. Skin of your teeth. The stress, I don't need it. I would get the hell out of that thing before it explodes. That's the Memphis Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He needs one. Officers in the center. Take the picture, please. Yeah, they're not here for this. It's it. <laughs> Sterilize some of Danny Boy's wounds. <laughs> Give him some to drink, though. Yes, now ambulance? Okay, great. 25th final mission, 17th May, 1943. Nearly 200,000 air crew lost their lives. And it was Hercules! Okay, that was Memphis Belle, and that was a really, really good movie. I didn't know what it was going to be about going into it. I'm kind of surprised that this just didn't really seem to uh, make a big impact, you know, in the pop culture landscape for whatever reason. Based on the actors that I saw, I'm guessing this is somewhere in the early 90s, and... I know most of those actors, they're not, I guess, what you would call A-listers or anything, but I knew most of them from some place or another. It was very well made. The fighting scenes were excellent. The whole battle, I was basically clenching everything because I was so tense, I really thought it was going to be catastrophic. The acting was great, the writing and the dialogue, the characters, the music, everything was, was really well done. It... They stretched what was probably a few hours of battle into pretty much an entire feature-length movie. And that, that takes a lot of skill, I think. I'm guessing that the overall loose concept of the Memphis Belle and being the first one to finish her tour of duty, 25 missions, and the stuff that happened during that last mission is probably more or less accurate. 
But I am assuming because we didn't get the based on a true story disclaimer and we didn't get updates on those characters at the end like they usually do for these kind of movies, it kind of makes me think that it was probably a composite of, of real people and like no one thing was completely accurate, probably fictional names and things like that. Be just because we didn't get the usual stuff to make you know that it's a true story. But that's just my guess. I usually go and do a quick look up on these things after I'm finished. And I'm sure you guys will tell me all I want to know in the comments like you always do. And I love you for that. Another shout out for LW3918 for suggesting this movie and being so patient while I finally got around to doing it. It was a great one. I really enjoyed it. Thanks again. And thank you to all the rest of you for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll find the full length reaction on my Patreon. You'll find the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget, I love you all to take care of yourselves and to have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time.